what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Police say Tony Cushenberry murdered his postal delivery person, Angela Summers, because he was mad that he hadn't received his stimulus check yet. The postal worker was the mother of a 14-year-old girl. She was shot once point blank and died immediately. A few weeks ago, after having difficulty delivering mail to Tony's house, Angela asked him to keep his dog inside. After multiple warnings, Angela, in compliance with the U.S. Postal Police, notified Tony that he would have to pick up his mail at the post office. Angela wrote about her interactions with Tony's dog on Facebook two days before she was killed. Police say Tony confronted Angela on Friday and asked for his mail. When she refused, he repeatedly asked for his mail while standing six feet away from her on his neighbor's porch. They say he then ran up on Angela with a gun. Angela did not go down without a fight, however. Police say that she pulled out her mace and hit him with the mace as she took off. And that's when he shot her dead. Tony allegedly confessed to the killing, saying he didn't mean to kill her, but he did want to scare her, according to court documents. The 21-year-old has been charged with second-degree murder, assaulting a federal employee, and discharging a firearm during a crime. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. Whoa. Now, let me tell you something, fam. You try to ride for the brothers. Oftentimes, the brothers are targets, are the victims. But you can't ride for this one. Uh-uh, not this. All he had to do was go to the post office and get his mail. But that was too much like right. What did he think would happen if he just confronted her and demanded the mail? Police say that he was sent a letter ahead of time. They had sent him a letter saying that he would have to pick up his mail. And this is before they stopped delivering his mail to his house. So he received the letter saying, he would now have to pick up the mail at his at the post office because it was too dangerous for the postal workers to enter his yard and deliver the mail because he had a dog roaming around. He had two choices. Put the dog in a safe place where it couldn't harm the postal worker or pick up the mail from the post office. That's it. Real simple. Anything else, you got trouble on your hands. If his ass was so lazy that he couldn't go up to the post office to get his mail, he obviously didn't need the stimulus check. He's about to get a gang of mail where he's going and he's going to have plenty of time to read it. Oh yeah, man. He's going to have so much time that he'll be able to open up a letter and read one word per week. That's if they don't kill him within the next 10 years. Talk about a waste of life. Just wasted two lives. And you got a kid who no longer has a mother. Oh man.
Now, of course, I'm speaking without context. I don't know everything that was said, but it don't even really matter what was said. Even if she did antagonize the dude, you got to know you can't throw yourself out there like that. He just made a permanent decision based on a temporary emotion. Very juvenile, irresponsible. If you have anger issues, do not buy a gun, do not borrow a gun, do not steal a gun, do not find yourself in the possession of a gun ever unless you're ready for it to be over. If there's a silver lining in all of this, and I'm trying very hard to find one, it is that we have one less fool roaming the streets. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?